On the show, we told you about a Barna Group study that revealed sports coaches as some of the top role models for today's youth. What came in higher than a coach? The number one role model for young adults aged 13 to 17, family members. Now, just a week ago, Jennifer took a trip out to Northern California to visit with her 91-year-old grandfather who was in his final stages of life. This was a trip you knew you had to take. You haven't seen him in a while. That's right. What was the motivation for it, first off? Well, I think it's so important for us to see our family members when they're alive, mm -hmm, right. as opposed to waiting to get that phone call and uh, you have to go out for a funeral. So it was really important to me that I took the time and spent time with him while mm -hmm. he was still conscious and able to talk with me. And we had some great opportunities. He told me some incredible stories. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things that you learn about your family members, but you have to take time to be with them if you're going to actually learn those types of things. And I had a similar situation, an estranged grandfather who hadn't seen him since my teenage years, and my dad got the call that grandpa's dying. He's in hospice. He lived down in Georgia, and so we all decided, my brother from San Antonio, Texas, and me from flying out of Dayton, and my dad out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, we all flew down to Atlanta, Georgia, and, and we were going to see Grandpa, who had abandoned us time and time again. And we got to the hospice and knocked on the door, and he was, he was in that stage of life where he wasn't talking. You know, he was down to his final days. He hadn't drank any water for three, four, five days, and the hospice staff couldn't make him drink the water. And so there he was, just lying on a bed, uh, a skinny leg, you know, this big. Uh, a shell of who we had remembered good parts of his life and there were so many times that he had walked away but we wanted to see him alive still and, and that was a special moment when his eyes opened and he recognized we were there mm -hmm. you know the redemption the redemptive moment of family members that realize they're reaching the end and there's a lot of things maybe they did wrong but us by going to see them we give them a chance to do things right well i think it's possible for us to take situations that maybe harmed us early mm -hmm. on in life and allow those to shape our opinions of our family and mm. and kind of wait for for that person to take the first step forward to forgive or to say I'm sorry I mean or something like that but instead of that I think it's important for us to take the first step forward and say you know I'm going to love this family member regardless of what they've done who they've been all of those things and fortunately in my case I didn't have any negative situation with mm -hmm. my grandpa I just simply hadn't seen him yeah. it literally had been 20 years since wow. I saw him and not only was it 20 years with him but it had been 20 years with some of my cousins with an aunt mm -hmm. it would have been 12 years with an aunt and uncle so part of this trip was so important to reconnect with uh, family members who are going to be living for decades to come and rebuilding that relationship that I think God wants us to have you know, that's what I admire so much about our area is we have so many families that are all together mm -hmm. and they they know that uh, you see schools from the Midwest Athletic Conference. They grow up together. Cousins know cousins. Cousins are in, in different towns. They live all the way in Versailles to so someone <laughs> from Marion Local. You know, it's close by, and they've got that importance of family here. And I think that really does help grow families. Absolutely. And you know, if that is a situation that you're in and your family members are close by, there could be a very good chance that there are certain family members that you choose not to talk with, that you don't really want to visit with them at holidays. And I would just encourage you to not allow those thorns to stay in the middle of that relationship. And that instead you'd say, you know, what? I'm going to be bigger than this. I'm going to be larger than this situation that happened and, 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 and decide that you're going to be the one to rebuild that relationship and make sure that it is what God intended it because you know Andy God created families and I know they're created different ways there's adoption and there's step families and all these different right. things but yet God integrated them together mm -hmm. and we need to do our part to make sure that those families are united as Christians it's our biggest ministry they're the people mm -hmm. that are right next door to us whether it's our kids our grandkids or aunts uncles you know whoever they are that's who you're most connected to that's who knows you best and so it's a great chance to share the love of Jesus with them just what, what was the most special moment for you um, around California you know I walked into the nursing home where my grandpa is now living and mm -hmm. will probably live here for the rest of his life which could be to be honest with you it could be days it could be weeks maybe he'll have a month we don't know but mm -hmm. it's it's you know it's it's not gonna be long and um, to see his eyes light up the minute I walked mm. in the room. You know, the last time he saw me, I think I looked a little different than I do now. I didn't have my kids. I didn't, wasn't married, none of those things. Mm. But I, so we spent the entire day uh, listening to stories mm. and I found out that my, my grandpa had been in radio and Nat King Cole was one of the uh, really? singers that came to, uh, came to the, the studio and he huh. started naming all of these bands that were there. And, wow. and then my, he was telling me all about his writing that he did. And I, I was almost ashamed that I did not realize 
how much of my television ability may have come from him and mm. the writing ability. It's, there's generations being passed right. with that. Of course, they didn't have TV back then. <laughs> but, you know. but I think probably the thing that hit me the most was when we were getting ready to leave mm -hmm. and the look that he gave me mm -hmm. and the way he held onto my hand, I, I, I didn't think I was ever going to get out of there. Mm. Um, and to realize that even though I had spent 20 years being absent and I was not the best granddaughter, I didn't connect with him all the time when I probably should have done it, yet that didn't sever the love that he had for me. Mm. And that was, that was really special. That was you wonderful. know you'll see him again someday. That's right. You'll be up in heaven. That's right. And we look forward to those redemptive stories coming back together with family members that have passed on.